The overall goal of the following experiment is to use quantitative recombinase polymerase amplification to quantify the DNA concentration of unknown samples. This is achieved by first adding the target DNA, internal positive control DNA, primers, and fluorescently labeled probes to the reaction. As a second step, the reactions are placed in the real-time PCR machine, which heats the reactions to activate the enzymes and monitors the fluorescence of the probes to detect the generation of target and control amplicons. Next, the fluorescence data is analyzed using a script to generate the standard curve and to validate the assay. The results show that DNA samples can be quantified accurately within one order of magnitude of the correct concentration based on the validation experiments used to quantify an HIV-1 target DNA. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like real-time quantitative PCR, is that RPA is isothermal, so an expensive thermal cycler is not needed. RPA also requires a lower amplification temperature, is tolerant to dirty samples, amplifies target to detectable levels within minutes, and utilizes lyophilized enzymes to allow easy transportation and storage at room temperature. To begin, clean all benchtop and equipment surfaces with a solution of 50% bleach to create a clean pre-amplification workspace. Remove the 280 millimolar magnesium acetate solution, the rehydration buffer, and the reaction pellets from the minus 20 degrees Celsius freezer, and thaw the solutions at room temperature. Then assemble a master mix by transferring 380.